Yes. I, I haven't. I haven't called from your social media presence. <laughs> Uh, so uh, Facebook and, and Twitter, Twitter and all MySpace. That. Yeah, uh, MySpace. I don't think we have a MySpace presence. No, I hope you don't. So just ask. I have not seen the questions before, and no. so just but they were solicited and people participate, and it's great uh, service to the fan base of the show. So bring it on. Okay. On Facebook, Steve Butler asks. Uh, do you know where? Did he say where he's from? I love knowing where they're from. He didn't say where he's from. Oh. But I'm going to guess Detroit. I mean, Steve <laughs> Butler sounds Detroit. Okay. Uh, are there any reasons why a spacecraft would or could be shaped like a classic flying saucer in terms of physics or engineering? I, you know, who's to tell how good aliens are at designing right. their hardware? But I can tell you, any time I saw flying saucers in movies start mm -hmm. spinning, yet the people in the flying saucer just look out of a window that has a constant facing direction. Yeah. I couldn't reconcile the two. Do you think they were in a gyroscope, but the inside was still? Yeah, but the, everything looked like it I'm was just trying to help rotating. You. Yeah. you know, plus there's some fundamental problems with a, an entire rotating ship. If you set it into rotation, something else has to be set rotating the opposite direction. It's a oh. little thing. You learn it in the second week of physics. Even if it was made on Kepler 22b? <laughs> Even, because these are laws that apply to the entire universe. And it's, you learned it in second second week of Physics 101, and it's the conservation of angular momentum. So mm -hmm. you, if you set something rotating one way, something else has to be rotating the other way in order to counteract that fact. So if, for example, if you send a spaceship, if you go into space and you have one of these space station rotating wheels where you simulate mm -hmm. gravity, if you got something rotating one way, something else has to be rotating, rotating the, other way. the other way to balance it. You start out with nothing rotating, Two things rotating in opposite direction, mathematically, equals zero rotation again. So you can you have to always sustain that fact. Mm -hmm. So for saucer to just spin up and start, I, I don't see the point. It's the fact that the whole thing is spinning. That's what you're bummed As with. Because a propeller on an airplane, you're fine that that's just one part of it is spinning. But your problem is the whole saucer spins, and that's what a fool would build. <laughs> exactly. Those would be stupid aliens. aliens. And, and But if they managed to do that somehow, it would be violating very well tested laws of physics but but you know also in their defense you've built very few spaceships that's true and clearly they have so no the that's way the to one flaw other than it probably wouldn't the work. way to say this is the laws of physics are quite commanding or rather quite descriptive of how because mm -hmm. the universe doesn't obey our laws the laws describe what we see right and the one of the deepest laws of physics we know is the conservation of angular momentum. Right. Once a system has a certain amount of momentum, it never changes within itself. Right. Unless something from outside of it touches it. So I can't. I I, I don't buy it. Right. I, I don't. I, I don't. And why spin it all? I think it's because. When did the Frisbee come out? <laughs> it's probably it. around the same time. You're right. Probably people are like, that must be how it would work. It would be great if you always cut inside the spaceship and it was just aliens up against the wall throwing up. Yeah, like that. Was it a ride? In Turkish the, twist? In the, in, the, in the amusement park. Yeah, yeah, where the floor falls out the, underneath. And, and, and I wrote about that in one of my books, I think, in Death by Black Hole. Mm -hmm. If you spun fast enough and you... So the, the centrifugal force is pushing you against yeah. the, the back walls. If you got sick and had to throw up, the throat would not leave your mouth. Would you die, or would you... No, what you do is turn your head sideways. And, and throw then up on the person next to you. <laughs> it can fly out to the side. That's why I only did that ride once as a kid and never again. <laughs> All right, well, what else we got? 